Now it's time to install the motor driver board L298N on the chassis. We'll need the motor driver board, some of the screws from this bag which says for UNO and L298N which is this chip here and the already pre-assembled chassis with the motors. I will open the back. <clears throat> Take the module out and we'll place it on top of the chassis this is the front part of the chassis where we will mount the line tracking sensors so the module should be placed in such a way that the chip the motor driver chip with the radiator will be on the back and this connector will be pointing forward the two connectors on each side will be the connectors for the motors and they should be like this Open the back with the nuts and screws and insert four of those screws to the hole, four holes. Then tighten with the corresponding nuts on the bottom. Do not over tighten as we will need to level the board by untightening some of the screws and tightening some of the others. Do not tighten too much because that will deform the board. We don't want the board to be deformed, just to stay in place. Now we can insert these connectors from the motors into the corresponding connectors on the board. Each motor is connected to the connector closest to the corresponding motor. As you can see, the connections are very easy to make and that's a big difference from the previous version of the Elego set, version 1.0, which although it was great set, required much more work to connect the wires. The motors are ready to be controlled with the Arduino.